Here, look in there. Tell me if you see anything. Look straight ahead. What the hell? And welcome back to another haunted adventure, but this is not your ordinary haunted adventure, guys. We are at one of the most haunted places in the entire world. Definitely rated number one in America, guys. We're at the Lizzie Borden house. You guys remember, I did a couple videos here. I came here with my buddy Lou Rock. I'm gonna put the links to those two videos. Some crazy stuff happened like this. Definitely gonna get some sleep. It's kinda hot in here. Dude, are you out? And then like this too. So when all this happened, I realized one thing guys, I had to come back here with my boy Omar Gosh TV. Yeah! Tonight at 3 a.m. We're gonna start exploring the Lizzie Borden house. I hope you guys are ready. Smash that like button. Let's do this, fam. All right, fam, we have arrived. Where are we? We're in the bathroom. Yeah. Check out this old school toilet, by the way. This is how you, boom. We are staying in the master bedroom. That was his room. Now, we stayed in this room last time. And guys, this door right here, this door, like we went to go to sleep and immediately this door closed all by itself. My buddy Lou was sleeping on the floor right here where Mrs. Borden was. <sighs> My boy Lou Rock was sleeping on the floor right here where Mrs. Borden was murdered. And um, yeah, that poof, it just closed really slowly. It freaked me out. Here are some of the pictures that they have. And uh, this place, guys, is definitely one of the more haunted places I've ever been. Now there is a basement, super, super scary. We we're gonna go check that out too. I don't know what's this, but. Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast Museum. That's the hatchet. Hmm. Cool. All right guys, so this I believe, well we're gonna find out right now. This is the the Lizzie and Emma suite. So I believe it was that room and that room. So that was Lizzie. This was Lizzie's or that was Lizzie's. I think they switched at one point. But here's some old pictures and some cool old relics from the house. Now that doll freaks me out. Really freaks me out, guys. And the room we're staying in is the master bedroom. I didn't really get a chance to see too much of that. Last time we were here, so we're going to get to see a lot of it and might even record ourselves sleeping tonight, possibly. And this is the other little room right here. I'll check that out. And that's what it addresses. Could you imagine, like, that's what they dress like? I love this place, guys. So freaky cool. Now this is our room for tonight, guys. This is the master suite. What they call it the master suite. Andrew and Abby suite. Oh, Andrew and Abby suite. Now the third story is supposed to be very haunted. And now uh, we'll go check that out later. But I love the third floor. We're gonna check out the master bedroom. The upstairs, the entire third floor, and the basement, guys. We did bring an EVP box. We actually got it from my boy Lou Rock, so shout out to my boy Lou. And uh, we're gonna get this party started a little later tonight. We're gonna wait for everyone to go to bed. 
probably around 2 a.m. and then we're gonna get this started. What's going on? Dude, it's going off like crazy. Really? Already? Come the on. EMF meter. Like, wow. I, I actually, that thing never goes off. Yeah, yeah, like they really very off. rarely go off. I've taken that thing in one of the most haunted places and it didn't even go off. The minute we turn it on, it starts going crazy. I believe it, bro. Like this place is seriously haunted. I've seen doors open. I've seen chairs move. I've heard whispers. And that was all in one night. So this is the room we got, guys. And it also connects with this room, which is where I'm going to be staying tonight. I'm trying to be quiet because there's people sleeping over there. But I was talking to the owner outside just a little bit ago. And she was telling me about this couple that stayed here. And basically what happened was the wife and the husband had experienced some really crazy things throughout the night. And the wife got so freaked out. And she's like, listen, if I see one more thing happen, I'm getting out of here. All of a sudden, the door handle started jiggling. He got up, opened the door, and there's no one out there. They went, left here and went to the Comfort Inn. Came back the next morning and had breakfast. So pretty neat little story, guys. But there's a reason why this place is very haunted. And we're going to see what happens tonight. All right, guys. So this is the attic. This is the third floor. There is three rooms up here. Now, I can't say I know the name of the rooms. They're not as historical as the rooms downstairs. It is newer because this was an attic. So they built this on afterwards. But don't think it's any less haunted. I get a really weird vibe from this room, actually. Got some creepy dolls over here. And there's actually a room that has a ton more dolls. What does that say? Oh, this is about the room. But there is a room over here. Well, actually, there's two rooms. One, this room right here I wanted to mention. You see that right there? If you go to watch my old video. Or Did you see the curtain move? Because I never caught it. Some A fam caught it and told me about it. Most people never caught that either. But that there's no way the wind was blowing there. This room. Now those are the toys right there. What the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? Oh. What the hell was that? <gasps> That's that room I told you that sounded creepy. Bro, this room is freaking weird, bro. I completely heard something in here. Whoa! Oh! oh! Look! Look, look, look. What the hell? Dude, I just swear. I it just moved. It just freaking moved. What the hell? <gasps> it's moving again. Okay, I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out, guys. I'm freaked out. Look at that. I don't like that stuff. I know you guys think I do this all the time and I might like this kind of stuff, but that kind of stuff really freaks me out, okay? Oh my god. What the hell is that? I want us down in the basement right now. What the heck? Dude, guys, this place is freaking me out. All right, guys, I'm coming outside for a couple minutes. Guys, they don't call it the most haunted place in the world or at least in the country for nothing, uh, or at least the most haunted house. It's pretty crazy. Last time this place shocked me. Um, already this place is shocking me. It really is. But I uh, highly suggest if you guys ever get a chance to come to the Lizzie Borden house, definitely do it. 100% creepy place, guys. And in the morning, we get Johnny Cakes. That's right, Johnny Cakes are back. Do you guys remember Johnny Cakes? Did I tell you about Johnny Cakes last time? Well, if I didn't tell you about Johnny Cakes last time, I will, I'm definitely gonna tell you about Johnny Cakes this time. Now, that might be in the second part of this video because, listen, by the time we're done doing EVPs and we do the basement and we do everything else, this is gonna be a pretty long video, guys. I mean, this place is neat. I want you to see all of it. And uh, I may have something special planned for you guys for tomorrow, besides the cemetery. Something no one on YouTube has ever been able to film. 
We might be able to do it tomorrow, guys. I hope we can. It'd be really exciting. I have a slight problem, fam. It happens to be probably about 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know, around 3, 3.30 or something. And I did not bring the key with me outside. Somehow the door locked, and I am locked outside right now. So this is wonderful. Um, yeah. I swear, I just heard Omar, guys. I've been sitting there for like 15 minutes. I don't want to knock on the door because there's other people sleeping here. And the owner's sleeping, but she's over there. So, like, I didn't want to, like, bother them. Um, so hopefully he's over here. I don't know. I don't know, should I knock? It's, it's like the top is open. No, I'm still locked. Um, I tried to call him, but I guess his phone is in his room. Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. Is that Omar? Oh, dude, I've been locked out of here for like 15, 20 minutes, bro. Really? Yes, I didn't want to knock on the door, and you haven't been answering your phone. It must oh, be in the sorry. room. Yeah, I have my phone off. <sighs> Thank goodness. I heard you talking. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, yeah, the basement? yeah, sure. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we're going to go in the basement right now. You haven't been in there yet? No. Oh, shh. Um, I'm not answering that question. Um, but wait, I didn't put it in my video because I felt bad. I didn't tell you guys that. I don't like lazy boards. No, I felt bad about it. That's why I never used it. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I don't like them. No. I mean, you can you can get beans coming through spirit boxes, but it's very rare. Not coming back. We still need to check out the main area too, guys. Okay. We still gotta check out the main areas. Jeez, oh, I didn't see the stuff there. Hmm. I was in for a treat. Dude, there's like freaking hatchets everywhere. Really? Yeah. One here. Well, I didn't see like, them. Like big yeah, like big ones. Yeah, for being in the 1800s, they used to have them. I mean, these are like pretty tall ceilings. Yeah, they are actually. I don't have to worry about bumping my head in here. That's, that's a good thing. Now, this is what. Alright, guys, so over here is a very, very creepy area. Me and my boy Lou are in here. And we heard a straight up whisper. It was as clear as day come from inside there somewhere. As we were looking at this, if you can look really carefully, you will see a face right there. Clear eyes, mouth, nose. This was like a wash area for them right here. So like a big bowl they used to wash their clothes and different things. But yeah, if you see clear face right there. Okay. Whoa. Pretty sure that's not a <laughs> Guys, if you've seen my last video here, one of those chairs actually moved and it scared the living crap out of me. So scared. We went upstairs and I was down here by myself and it literally moved. I was so scared, guys. Last time Lou and I were in here, we heard a straight up whisper. It sounded like James that came from over there. It was crazy. Whoa. Shh. Wait a minute. That was not just leaking a second ago. I was just in here. What? Do you hear that? I don't hear it anymore, but I did hear it. What the hell? It just stopped. Bro, what the hell? Whoa. It was just a leaky pipe, bro. That's no, but it wasn't leaking when I was just in here for like two or three minutes and it wasn't leaking. I don't know. Okay, we're right here. Look in there. Tell me if you see anything. Look straight ahead. What the hell? Dude, it's not like somebody's walking up there. Everyone's sleeping. We just came from 
people out there, everyone is sleeping. Dude, bro, that's the kitchen area. Or the hallway. Or the family room. Dude, I totally heard footsteps up there. You better make sure one of those chairs doesn't move. Dude, you never even seen it over here yet. No. Go look inside there. Dude, what was that noise? Like I don't know. It sounds like somebody was walking, but then I heard a little bang. Look right here, though. Every last time I told Omar to look right here, that noise started happening. And then the leaking. Just look in there. No, back up. Look on the wall. Dude, there's a face. Yeah. There's a freaking face. <laughs> yeah, it's freaky. What the hell? Yeah, dude. That almost looks like a man. Keep your eyes open here, guys, and definitely keep your ears open. Hey. What? Did you say something? No. I mean, I was talking, but... Dude, last time I was right here, one of those chairs moved. I'm freaking out right now. No, it's a bad, it's, I get a bad feeling down here. This guy freaks me out back here. I want to go upstairs, guys. Maybe we come back. Which way he could make money, he would make it. Kind of reminds me of, I mean, a lot of people that I know. I mean, I have a lot of friends that are grinders. I mean, me, myself, I work hard. My friend James, my friend Mo, I mean, we're hard workers. And during the 1800s, I mean, we, we've had hard workers, like, throughout history. Mr. Andrew Borden was one of those hard workers. What the hell? Bro, did you hear that? Was somebody up there again? Why don't you go up there and check? Dude, I'm gonna check up there. What the hell? I swear it's only there's somebody up there. Wow. So creepy in here, guys. So I am in the family room right now. This is where Andrew Borden was murdered, right here on this couch, right behind me. Not actually on this exact couch, but. Right where that couch is, right there, guys. And, uh, could you imagine? He was laying this way with his head over here. And she must have, or whoever, murdered, because she was acquitted. Got him right here. Right when he was sleeping. Now, they do have Ouija boards here, guys, as you can see. There's a Ouija board right there. And there's a Ouija board over here in this corner. Now, I don't really like Ouija boards too much, guys. I don't really like to mess with them that much. Actually, I don't like to mess with them at all. I've only done it one time, and I felt bad about it. So I didn't even want to use any of the footage. But definitely one of the more haunted places. Here. So we're not going to mess with the Ouija boards, guys. That's the couch right there. But that. So that's the area right there he was in, guys. That's the way to go upstairs. It's almost too quiet. Gives me the heebie jeebies. That dress right there kind of freaks me out, too, to be honest with you. I signed this guest book before, so if you guys come here, make sure you sign the guest book. There's also different stories in here, which is really neat if you ever get a chance to read this.
trying to be quiet over here because I know there's people sleeping up there. Omar's downstairs still in the basement. I don't know, guys. Strange. You know, this has been a pretty long video, guys. And uh, we might just make a part two to this. Because we planned on recording ourselves sleeping, going to the cemetery, and haven't told anybody this yet. But they acquired, the owners here acquired the house that Lizzie Borden bought and moved into and lived in most of her life after this. It's like a mansion almost. But she died in that house and they bought it. It's not open to the public yet, but we may be getting a sneak peek there. That would be awesome, guys. So I missed this last time, guys. This is why I love having Omar with me, because these are things that I don't see. But we listened to part of the story where when Lizzie was actually being prosecuted, the prosecutor's office actually took the heads off Mr. and Mrs. Borden and didn't tell anybody until about a week before the trial or right at the trial. Oh, it was during the trial. Oh, so this during the trial. This just surprised the de defense with it. And they basically brought the skulls into the courtroom after they boiled everything off. Dude, and they say, they like, drilled holes in it and stuff, they said. Uh, they said that everybody was freaking out, including Lizzie Borden. She actually passed out. Oh, that's when she passed that's out. That's when she passed out. She passed out. And, like, there was screams being heard during the trial. Like, it was crazy. Dang. That, yeah. that was a shocker. Like, they were not expecting that. That's the pictures from the actual skulls, guys. Isn't that crazy? Now, I got something cool to tell Omar. He doesn't know. When Mr. and Mrs. Borden were murdered, it was the very first murder in the United States history that was ever photographed, put into the newspaper, made it public. And that's what made the story so huge back then was nobody had ever heard of that. And nobody had ever seen pictures like this before. Very graphic. Very first, very graphic, guys. I mean, last time I was here, I showed some of the pictures. And you had to go on my Instagram to see them. That's how graphic it was. I mean, just look at this, guys. So that's the original pictures of the skulls that they brought into the courtroom. And look at the damage on those skulls. I mean, it's bad. It's you can almost see the mark of the hatchet. Yeah, and here's a replica of the hatchet, which is where? Right there? It's on the bottom. The next one. Oh, so check this out. There is found. replicas of the actual skulls, guys. And that is the hatchet that they found right there at the top of the hatch, and they didn't even find a stick with it. That's all they found was just that. But look at that damage, that is horrible, guys. So did you see anything in the basement after I left? Uh, no. Yeah, I came up here and I didn't hear. Whoa, what was that? What's that? What was, you're not even recording, what the hell? Damn, guys, I don't know, this place makes so many noises. Ow. My ankle's killing me, sorry. More than likely, he was going to be doing a second part to this video. I'm going to reclaim myself for several hours. Guys, we're going to go back upstairs with the EVPs. Oh, boy. This makes me nervous to go back up here after I seen that damn rock hit here. If it's moving again. What rock hit? Bro, you should record this right there. That one right there. Ooh, I almost thought I just seen it move again. Hold on. Bro, that is creepy. It moved, like, literally rocked back and forth for, like, five seconds. Did you turn the lights off up here? No. When I left here, the lights were on. No, I didn't touch the lights. You're right, the lights were on in here. Okay. Are you on a timer? No. What was that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Jesus, freaking me out. This is the room that we got. It said, it said rape. Like, Where? Lizzie said she was raped. When we did it from in here, yeah. Lou got it on the EVP. This is what makes this story so 
I know some people don't like the EVPs. I'm not the biggest fan myself. But if you want to skip the EVPs, go to this timestamp and you can go check out the rest of this video. Oh, wow. Oh. Who's with us right now? Okay. Wow, they're, they're talking to us. Oh, wow. Wow, what did that say? I don't know. Oh, this temperature thing's freaking out right now. What the hell? I'm gonna turn that off. I never seen that. We were getting some temperatures. We're getting a spike in temperature, bro. Why would you turn that off? That's actually kind of crazy. Abby, are you here with us? Who's with us here? Whoa, that's a girl's woman. voice. I heard a woman. Last time I was here, you told me someone got raped here. Lizzie got raped. Whoa. I'm going to have to get my boy Lou Rock to listen to some of these and maybe he can tell me what it says and I'll put it down right here. Thanks to him. Right, let me know, you know what some of these EVPs are saying, what you think they're saying. Lizzie, what happened to you? Did you really murder your step... Did you really murder your dad and stepmom? What about Emma? Are you here with us, Emma? Did you have anything to do with it? Why weren't you here that, that day? She, like, mysteriously, like, wasn't here. Like, mm -hmm. Whoa. What the heck? Dude, I've never heard that before. Well, what the hell, bro? Is that Mr. Born Andrew? Is that you, Andrew? That sounds like it is. Andrew, do you want to tell us anything? Dude, we're getting a lot of action, guys. There you are. Lizzie, did you murder your stepmom and dad? There's not any responses to Lizzie. I don't think Lizzie's here. I think that's Andrew. You how? know what, though? How? Even, even though Lizzie... Even though Lizzie was innocent or found innocent in a court of law... Whoa. She always... She was... People like felt like she still murdered them. You know what I mean? Like, what if Lizzie was innocent? Is Lizzie really innocent? How many spirits are here with us? I know Andrew is. What did it say? I don't know. Speak loudly into there. How many spirits are in here with us? Two, three. Who moved the rocking chair? Yeah. Whoa. What did it say? It's still saying. It's hard to make out. The reason we're getting a lot of action also, guys, is he has two different... It's like two in one. There's actually yeah. two of them These playing at the same bodies. time, two different frequencies. Andrew, who murdered you? All right, we're going to have to listen to some of these guys. Who haunts this house? This this house is the, one of the most haunted houses I've ever been in. Yeah, it is. Guys, Omar just ending his video right now because we're gonna do a part two. But like, I swore I just seen something like move out here.
bro, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm telling you, I heard, we or, we heard, like, this noise. And I look up, and I swore I seen something move out here. And I don't see very well. You know what? I could have sworn from the corner of my eye, too. I seen, like, a shadow. Seriously. <sighs> Guys, we're getting ready to go to bed because we are super tired. And we figured this has been a long enough video. We are going to record ourselves sleeping, both me and my boy Omar right here. So make sure you go check out this video. I'm making a video. He made a completely different video. And also, we're going to be making a second part where we're going to be going to sleep in our rooms just like I did the last time. If you didn't see the first time I went to sleep here, something super creepy happened right in the beginning. I'll put a link up right oh here. Gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What? Is somebody awake? What the hell? Was that a shadow I just seen move? Or was that your shadow? I don't know. Whoa. Alright guys, I will see you on the next adventure. We're starting our second video right now while we go to sleep and we're going to the cemetery tomorrow. And we may have a third surprise for you. I'll let you know about that next time, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Love you, fam. Peace. Whoa! The sunrise, late nights. Wishing that this would be over Cold eyes, the same vice We won't be getting any closer We're supposed to be young, dumb and free Thought that we never